from hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time you're looking at a bottle of beer that I should have looked at but before now. It's a bottle of Sierra Nevada's Stout, 5.8% ABV. The reason why I'm looking at this beer is a friend of mine um, mentioned it recently and said, oh, it's, like, it's, it's not a million miles off a black IPA. You know what I mean? It's one of those beers that I've, I've had a while ago and just not thought about for quite some time, to be honest. It's Sierra yeah, Nevada, it's relatively easy to get hold of. It's just called Stout, it, they don't push it in any way. It's just probably, I mean, I remember it just being a really nice beer. Um, I'd looked on the, um, uh, Sierra Nevada always give you a good amount of details about the brew on, on their website. Obviously, Ken Grossman is a, um, a former home brewer and he it says it's hopped with Bravo, so big old alpha acid as a beer in hop, and then Yakima Goldings. Interesting one, so an American, brew, uh, American grown Goldings, and then obviously Sierra Nevada using Cascade. So, I thought I'll give it another go. Just see if it's Sierra Nevada. High quality stuff, isn't it? It's never gonna, never gonna not hit that mark and meet the grade. Pouring really nice and dark. It's not like the, the biggest, thickest beer. I mean, it's five point eight percent. But in the glass, it's absolutely black as night. There's nothing getting through that, even at five point eight percent ABV, and a lovely mid tan kind of mockerish looking creamy top on that. Looks great, that looks like a perfect glass of stout. Not gonna, probably not gonna get a hell of a lot of aroma off of this because I've gone for the full pour. But let's, let's give it a go anyway. No, I'm not getting a hell of a lot of that. Oh yeah, nice. You're getting kind of all bran, you're getting really big milky chocolate. Um, slight, kind of, there's a earthy mineral thing going on. Yeah, lovely kind of filter coffee, hint of smoke. Yeah, really kind of like that topsoil thing going on, really does, it's really prominent, is that? Yeah, kind of like earthy, um, kind of slightly smoky edge with that coffee and chocolate. Back it up, it smells lovely actually. So let's dive in. Cheers. really nice. <laughs> really drinkable. 5.8% ABV. That's kind of what you want. It's quite dry, there is, which is odd. It's quite dry, but it's balanced out with a nice uh, sweetness, which you get in the form of um, quite a nice bitter chocolate and loads of molasses. It's on the top side of light bodied. Hint of um, kind of a slightly charcoal note. There's a tang of. I'm probably going to go with that that East Kent Goldings. Um, sorry, that Yakima Goldings. Slight tang. Yeah, nice amount of kind of dark chocolate. Hint of roasted coffee. Simple beer, it's really simple beer, but done very nicely. And for me, I really admire those kind of things. Um, if I go to a restaurant, something like a like an Italian restaurant, I like a carbonara. If you get that carbonara right, it's a simple thing to do, it's really basic. If you get that right, it's a big thumbs up for me. For me, this is that ticking those boxes. It's got, uh, it's just doing everything that it should. It's ABV, it's really drinkable, it's got a lovely amount of flavour, maybe hint more, um, a bit more body, a bit more presence, it uh, would lift it a little bit for me. But yeah, massively drinkable, really enjoyable. Can't mess around with that. And what else should you expect from a brewery of the quality of Sierra Nevada? So that's a bottle of Sierra Nevada from Chico, California, it's their stout at 5.8% ABV, really nice, really sessionable, lovely, perfectly perfectly produced stout, top dollar. Anyway, I'm Rob from hopzine.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.